Welcome to Tips for Life. In this video, the do's and don'ts to promote brain health. One of the most amazing parts of your body, and perhaps the one most taken for granted, is your brain. The brain is a complex organ that controls thought, memory, emotion, touch, motor skills, vision, breathing, temperature, hunger, and every process that regulates our body. Together, the brain and spinal cord that extends from it, make up the central nervous system. Sadly, most people, tend to only think about its health, when its functions start to falter. Stress, trauma, aging, organic disorders, or neurological illnesses, can lead to problems like, memory loss, difficulties in performing cognitive functions, and other basic tasks. Furthermore, Studies show that millions of people around the world are living with Alzheimer's disease and dementia. And numbers of such people are likely to increase in few decades to come. And so, it is important to take necessary steps toward preserving, protecting, and improving your brain health. While some significant factors affecting brain health occur with age, some are genetic or cause due to surroundings. In any case, there are plenty of things you can do to help prevent cognitive decline and keep your brain working its hardest, now and even later on. Here are 12 do's and don'ts to preserve and promote brain health. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button to join us and also the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Alright, so, here we go. Firstly, the do's. 1. Exercise regularly. Exercise is probably the first best thing for brain health. Yes, exercise has many benefits, both for the body and the brain. Several studies show that people who are physically active are less likely to experience a decline in their mental function and have a lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Regular exercise also improves cognition and reduces risks of dementia. It also helps to increase the size of the hippocampus, which is the part of your brain responsible for memory that normally shrinks with age. All such benefits are a result of increased blood flow and oxygen supply to your brain during exercise, which stimulates chemical changes in the brain that enhance optimal brain function. So, aim to exercise several times per week, for 30 to 60 minutes, walking, swimming, playing tennis, moderate aerobic activity, weightlifting, cardio, and so on, contribute towards better brain health. 2. Stay mentally active. Bear in mind, that your brain is similar to a muscle, you need to use it, or you lose it. So, make sure to stay mentally engaged, by doing certain brain activities. Brain activities, stimulate new connections between nerve cells, and help the brain develop new brain cells. And these developing new cells, can help at the times of cell losses. There are many things that you can do, to keep your brain active, including solving puzzles or math problems, learning a new language, reading, drawing, painting, listening to music, and so on. All such activities can result in improved memory, visual recognition, concentration and mood, and ultimately, boost your brain health. What about watching television? Well, that is a passive activity and does little to stimulate your brain. 3. Eat a healthy mind diet. Yes, your diet plays an important role in your brain health. You see, the brain needs to make neurotransmitters, enzymes, nerve linings, and more. So, eating a healthy mind diet and making sure you are getting a good dose of vitamins can make a significant difference in reducing your risk of Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. So, what is a mind diet? A mind diet 
consists of eating plenty of whole grains, such as quinoa, oats and barley. Plenty of leafy greens, brightly colored vegetables, nuts, fruits, especially strawberries and blueberries, beans, lentils and soybeans, poultry and oily fish, and cooking with olive oil and other healthy fats that are vital for your cells to function correctly. Omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil. These acids and fats decrease your risk of coronary artery disease and increase mental focus and slow cognitive decline in older adults. A mind diet also suggests avoiding or minimizing consumption of red meat, caffeine, junk, processed food, salt, cheese and butter, and sugar. Studies also show that deficiencies in vitamins like folate and vitamin B12 are linked to cognitive decline. These vitamins serve as a protective mechanism against dementia. So, get folate from foods like broccoli, asparagus, spinach, beets and Brussels sprouts, and get vitamin B12 from food sources like beef, eggs, fortified cereals, or seaweed snacks. 4. Remain socially connected and involved. Yes, being socially connected and supporting others is important for brain health. You see, when you interact with others, whether it's spending time with family and friends, or volunteering, or having a chat with someone, parts of your brain get stimulated. Studies show that certain social activities significantly reduce the rate of cognitive decline in adults aged 65 and above. Research-based evidence indicates that people who are active members of social clubs with their peers, people who frequently contact their children and grandchildren by phone, letters or in person, and people who participate in two or more social activities like alumni associations or volunteer councils, and so on, experience the smallest amount of cognitive decline. So, social interactions are helpful for the brain, as they help ward off depression and stress, both of which can contribute to memory loss. Furthermore, studies show that even one hour a week of good social interaction is beneficial for people with dementia. So, no matter how busy you may be, look for time and opportunities to connect with family and friends, especially if you live alone. Studies link solitary confinement to brain atrophy. So, remaining socially active may have the opposite effect and strengthen the health of your brain. 5. Practice meditation and mindfulness. Practicing meditation and mindfulness on a daily basis is good for the brain as it reduces inflammation, fights fatigue and confusion, reduces rates of depression and promotes the formation of neural connections within the brain. It also helps calm the mind, reducing stress and lowering blood pressure, but studies also show that it helps reduce age-related memory loss, improve concentration and memory and allows the mind to think more clearly and broadly. So, practicing meditation and mindfulness should not be taken lightly. Interestingly, such many positive results for the brain can be achieved even in as little as 12 minutes a day of regular meditation, during which you also focus on taking deep and controlled breaths. And if you don't know how to do it properly, Consider getting help from experts. 6. Get Musical Yes, scientific research shows that learning to play a musical instrument can enhance brain function as we get older and can also help prevent age-related cognitive problems. However, if you still cannot play an instrument, know that just listening to music you enjoy is also beneficial for healthy brain function. Studies show that specifically, it helps the brain in the areas of memory and reasoning. Do you like dancing? Well, learning new dance moves may also help support your brain health. Studies show that dancing 
reduces stress, increases levels of feel-good endorphins, and also helps develop new neural connections, especially in those parts of the brain, involved in executive function, long-term memory, and spatial recognition. If you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Secondly, the don'ts. 1. Don't be inactive. Keep in mind, that in order to be able to enjoy each day, and give your best, your brain has to remain healthy and active. So, while regular exercise five times a week, is the most beneficial for your brain and overall health, participating in light activities a few times a week, is better than being completely inactive. Bear in mind, that an activity, not only causes weight gain, muscle loss and osteoporosis, but it also contributes toward the development of depression and dementia. Incorporating activities, such as cardio, running, or walking, for just half an hour a day, can give your brain heart a boost. Also, activities like taking up a new hobby, reading, playing an instrument, improving social connections, and so on, can help greatly to keep your mind actively engaged. In case you have a chronic illness, or physical impairment, which restricts your movement, consult a doctor, for recommendations on exercises that work well with your body. Depending on your situation, the doctor may also recommend physical therapy or rehabilitation. 2. Don't skip sleep. Yes, sleep plays a critical role, in your brain health. Bear in mind, that enough sleep, allows your brain the time it needs to repair, restore and reset, after the many activities it does, during the day, sleeping enough, also allows your brain to get rid of toxins, such as beta amyloids, which is a substance that is linked to the development of Alzheimer's disease and dementia. It is recommended, that older adults should get 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night. In addition, prioritize your sleep by following good sleep hygiene habits, such as going to sleep, and waking up at the same time each night, avoiding caffeine and exercise, at least 6 hours before bed, and developing pre-sleep rituals you follow every night, like taking a bath or reading a book. Remember, if you are sleep deprived, your brain functions remain slow, the following day, failing to concentrate and focus, as it does when it is rested. Also bear in mind, that sleep apnea, is harmful to your brain's health, and may be the reason why you may struggle to get quality sleep. So, if you, or a family member, suspects you have sleep apnea, don't hesitate to consult a doctor. 3. Don't drink alcohol in excess. Yes, drinking alcohol in excess for many years, negatively affects, not only your other organs, like your liver or stomach, but also most importantly, your brain. Bear in mind, that alcohol is technically a toxin, and so, regular consumption, can actually kill your nerve cells. An excessive consumption, can also lead to brain shrinkage, depletion of the gray matter, and permanent chemical changes to the brain. Regular and excessive consumption of alcohol, also increases risks of dementia. So, if you must drink, limit your intake, to two drinks a day, or simply quit drinking altogether. 4. Don't indulge in tobacco products, or drugs. Bear in mind, that smoking, not only increases your risk of heart attack, stroke, and many kinds of cancer, but it also causes many other issues, related to the brain. You see, tobacco or any other drug abuse, results in a reduction of brain activity, besides causing a rise in blood pressure and heart rate, dizziness, headache, coughing, and many other problems. Long-term use of tobacco products, can have serious side effects on the brain, and other body parts, like the nervous system, lungs, and heart. So, tobacco in any form, must be avoided. 
But the good news is, no matter how long someone has smoked, quitting at any age can provide huge benefits toward their health, and most importantly, toward their brain. 5. Don't entertain stress. Stress is known to be a contributing factor for many health problems, including heart disease, insomnia and anxiety disorders. However, studies also show that higher blood levels of the stress hormone cortisol are associated with memory impairment and reduced brain size in middle-aged adults. All this is to say, if your stress levels are high, make sure to protect your brain by finding ways to manage your stress better, such as doing yoga or meditation. 6. Don't multitask. Here, multitasking doesn't necessarily mean doing two things at the same time. It means quickly alternating back and forth between two tasks, like juggling. Multitasking is no good for your brain. As such, to keep your brain sharp, minimize distractions and allow yourself to focus on one task. Doing this also actually saves time in the long run. Do you have any tips to add to the list? If you do, feel free to add them in the comments section below. Finally, if you find value in this video, like the video, and remember to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so you get notified of new uploaded videos on this channel. Thank you, for watching.